some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves out in Pennsylvania with the frauditor, no, formerly known as Riot Girl Radio, where she is frauditing at a local DMV and ends up getting the place shut down to the point where the uh, people in there want to riot and take her out. So the police have to get involved and she ends up getting arrested. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey guys, what's up? This is Rebel Riot Radio and I am at the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation in Ben Salem, PA. As you can see, there is a line out the door. Well, if it's anything like your last few audits on uh, the Pennsylvania DMVs, you're about to shut this place down with your stupidity. But oh wait, there's a bonus at the end. You're gonna get arrested. And this comes from the fact that you uh, quote mine just like the other frauditors and lie just as much and just as often. But hey, if you want to live the rest of your life as a dishonest scumbag, hey, that's your choice. Just to remember, you're going to get arrested quite a bit. So let's carry on. And here we go. Let's see how this goes. Goodness. Oh, thank you. Yikes, oh my goodness. Hi. He go video, he go video, he go video. What's that? How you doing? You got to turn it off. Uh -uh. Got to turn it off. Oh, I... Hi. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm here to get, like, get the building and... Well, actually, the law, it's a constitutionally protected activity. So I'm allowed to do that. I'm not after anyone's personal information or anything like that. You know, I'm surprised they haven't gotten you with the wiretapping law in Pennsylvania yet. They have with other frauditors, and some of them are now spending time in prison over it. So you may want to rethink this uh, little strategy of yours. But please carry on with your stupidity. Okay. Well, now that's a bummer right there, considering that's something we've all been saying about these frauditors that, uh, well, there it's a right to privacy, and they have a right to their own privacy when it comes to their own information, uh, not getting out into the public. But yet these frauditors don't really give a shit. They just want to stir shit up and just cause problems. And you know what? There's always consequences to your actions. If you want to go in to a place like this and record, there's going to be consequences for that too, which these consequences are about to start. So let's fast forward to that part, shall we? A little longer than a few minutes later. Good afternoon, everyone. Due to being that we have a young lady here recording, we are going to us right now. Unfortunately, we cannot call numbers up because we were given information, privacy information. So we're going to have to stop working until she finishes doing what she needs to do. Okay? Unfortunately, I can't do anything until she stops recording. So my staff has to stop working. Mom, turn on the papers. Thanks for the inconvenience. The stupidity of this statement is uh, quite ginormous, considering that there was no problem going on here until you walked in with your video camera, where there's a lot of people uh, sharing their private information with the DMV so they can get their work done. And this is a matter of privacy in this particular case. It's not a matter of videoing as a whole because videotaping or video recording as a whole is not illegal. It's just that in certain places it can be because of private information, you dumbass. And now because of what you've done, be it going in here and uh, recording people's private information, they have had to stop work because of that, so the, none of that information gets out into the public, you dumbass. 
Well, if you want to uh, talk about people's rights disappearing, well, let me tell you something. Uh, sometimes rights do disappear because people like you tend to abuse the privilege. So as a result of people like you, uh, lawmakers are coming up with laws that will curtail some of your actions in the future, hurting everybody in the long run, you dumbass. But let's go ahead and carry on with the show and see how this works out for her. Oh, wait, spoiler alert, she gets arrested. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go again. Another panda and another refusal of service, which I believe is against the law. Honey Boo Boo, if you could please provide a citation on that uh, little. Uh, claim that you have right there to back it up with uh that would be nice uh because there's only two uh instances of refusal of service in pennsylvania that i've been able to find one has to do with unemployment and the other has to do with utilities and uh well if you can't show it then you don't know it the riot girl oh wait that's your not your uh channel name anymore. You changed it because somebody threatened to sue you over it. But let's continue on, shall we? Here we go. Here we go. Get out. I got a job to get to. Let's go, man. Get out. I can't believe you can be that inconsiderate. Get out. I'm not the one who is ignorant. They are. Excuse me. Come on, let's do our job. You see this lying at the door, man? Get out. May we ask what this is for? Get out. 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 I it's want illegal. to know. What is it for? It's illegal. Who? Get out. Who wants to know? Get out of the place. I want to know. What is it for? We're calling the cops. Okay. Yo, folks. Is this you? There you go. Call 911. That don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing. It's garbage. It's garbage. The police should get her arrested. Get out. Call 911. Somebody call 911. Somebody. This tells me nothing. You're not allowed to be recording. You're not allowed to record us. And everybody here feels the same way. So whatever you're doing is illegal. It's a constitutionally protected activity, man. So you're going to stand there and make everybody suffer because you feel like you have the right to record inside that building? Why don't you take that attitude and take it before a judge rather than bringing a business to a halt and annoying and delaying everybody else in that building who has business, and I mean real business, to take care of in here and other places that you are now delaying. Well, at any rate, now that we've seen the uh, reaction from the general public in this building, let's go ahead and fast forward to when the cops arrive and see how long it takes for her to get arrested. Many, many minutes later. All right, I, I think you need to do something. Okay. I think everybody call right. 911 right now. Maybe they'll call 911. No. I don't feel safe here, okay? Because of a camera? What? Yes. There's cameras okay. all over the place. All right. But they have cameras for a reason, all right? So Anyone here could have a gun or something. People are upset, okay? You have to understand that. There's a child here. There are a lot of people here. I don't need to. I don't Do you care why law? you're here. You know what I see? People are asking you to leave. Do you care about the Constitution? Well, the I care States? about the Constitution. Sir, but I also care me. that don't people come here, are upset. Do you and all you, you want to do is take our pictures. 
Do you care about people? I didn't take your picture till you walked up to my camera. Not anyone who talks who takes their picture. That's right. So don't talk to me. And you want to call everybody else tyrants when the general public in this building, this establishment, is asking you to leave. You don't want to do so. That guy gave some excellent reasons. But you know what? You just don't give a damn. You want to step on everybody else's rights because you want to feel big. Five minutes later. <laughs> Here they are, the police got you. Can we just talk to you for a second? Yes, you can. Is that possible? Yeah, you're a little close to me. <laughs> we can't talk in here. No. Get out! Okay. Come on. Let's go. Go ahead, I'll follow you. Bye, Karen. Bye. 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 Oh, oh my goodness, how stupid are you? Oh, wait, don't answer that question because it's rhetorical because we already know how stupid you truly are. I mean, they weren't, nobody here was trying to take away your freedom of speech. Everybody in there had their freedom of speech and it was pretty much unanimous in there that they wanted your sorry ass gone. I mean, you were a disruptive influence in there causing problems. No one's trying to take your freedom of speech away. In fact, if they were, you would have disappeared a long time ago. Drive here? Drive here? Hi. Did you drive here? You can come out. Come on. You can record us. What's going on? Not much. I'm an independent journalist and I'm gathering content for a story. Okay. All right. Um, obviously, you know, they're recording. Right. So they don't want you to record inside. Right. And uh, that's the only reason we're here. That's it. Right. I'm sure you guys know it's a constitutionally protected activity. I'm covered by the yeah, First Amendment if I don't raise. You can film out here. It's only film. No, actually, I am allowed to film inside. I have the laws with me, so. Right. Yeah, um, do you have your ID or you have any sort of identification? So like they're that? trying to break, violate my First Amendment right, and I'm not going to let you violate my Fourth, sir. Well, they... they Presenting your identification to the officers is not a Fourth Amendment violation. In fact... That is a government-issued ID. It doesn't exactly belong to you, and it can be revoked if you don't have valid insurance on your vehicle. I know that's the way it is in the state of Florida. Trust me on that. They're didn't term you're trespassing right now, so basically we need a record that we made. They can't trespass me from a public building. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. That my taxes help pay for? Do you have your ID? Or do you have your name, date of birth? Why would you? Again, they're trying to violate my First Amendment right, and you're trying to violate my Fourth, sir. Just let me hear me out, please. Well, ID isn't. A, you can demand it all you want, but I have a Fourth Amendment right, don't I? Can I have your name, date of birth, please? Sir, if you try to violate my rights under color of law, that's a, that's a violation of 18 U.S.C. Section 242. Sorry, but no. Just look at the highlighted portion of the paragraph right there. It's about race and color. It has nothing to do with filming inside of a building, dumbass. Why don't you try it again? A swing and a miss. Just like every other time you've tried to use that. Deprivation of rights under color of law. Okay. Is that in that paperwork? Uh-huh. Can I see it? Sure. Top one. I also have... I can see all of them? The ACLU, if you want. What's that? You can see what my rights are! Okay, so what's the first thing? Sir, I'm not giving you. That okay. would be a violation of my Fourth Amendment are you right. here? Do you live around here? I'm not answering questions, sir. Okay, fair enough. I'm an independent journalist. I'm gathering content for a story. I made sure that this is a public building before I, I came did. here. I, I didn't ask you that. Right. I was giving you information to be nice. And I'm, I'm trying to be nice. I'm just asking for a name. It doesn't it's seem like it. So because you keep trying to violate my Fourth Amendment right over and over and over again. Can you 
can you let me talk? Let me talk. The reason I'm asking for name, date of birth, uh -huh. I got on record that I made contact with you because they don't want me. They don't want I understand I'm on record. You do not have to get. So you do not have to break my first thought. You're as defiant trespass. You can't so solicit a trespass from them, sir. Okay. I'm just telling you why I'm asking for name, date of birth. If you give me your name, date of birth, you're free to go. I'm free to go. Am I being detained? Right now we're talking. I can't. I need to verify who you are. They Can you please call a supervisor? I want to speak to your I am supervisor. Can you please call your supervisor, sir? Isn't that part of your policy that when I request no, you have to? Not. Can I please have your name and badge, please? Sure. Brennan, right there. And what's your badge name? One my badge number. Your badge number? One, two, four, sir. Four. It's right there. Badge number one three six. Can you one, please three, identify? Six, I don't know how to say your name. Karlov. Karlov? Yeah. Okay. And your officers, sergeants, what are you? I don't see stripes. Troopers. Troopers, okay. State trooper. Yes. Okay. And you guys don't have to wear body cam? We don't have any. Oh. Like the whole Pennsylvania State Police don't? Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay, good. Okay. So. <laughs> So that's that. <laughs> if you, obviously, if we have to come back, obviously there's going to be different precautions that we have to take. So. Right. Um, the, the way it works is you guys leave. I go back in. I circle around just so they can see I wasn't arrested. And then I leave because everyone was screaming at me and telling me no, I don't have the right to do inside. these things. Excuse me? You're not going back inside. They don't want you here. They'd be trespassing. I understand that that's not trespassing, so no one's asked me to leave. Yeah. I have it on yeah, camera. Yeah, just told us that you can't come back. Do you want me to tell her they'll come back and tell you? I mean, they'll do that. Yeah, they would have to do that on okay. camera, yeah. and then that's violating my rights. How is uh, being trespassed violating your rights? Because you have failed to demonstrate that over and over again. You keep on talking about these laws, and you have no idea what they truly say. I mean, that much is clear. Stay here. You stay here. Sir, stay here. Yeah. You're stay gonna here. Stay here. Am I being detained? You're about to place under arrest if you're going to stay there. Sir, am I being detained? Stay here. Stay here. Why do I have to because stay here when I'm not they're being they're detained? I'm tell you because you can't go back in there. They're How can you trespass me from right a now. public building? Listen, they don't want you in there. That's it. You I'm realize that you're violating you, my constitutional rights and you will you lose your qualified immunity. Yeah. You're not allowed in here. So now you I'm not allowed alone no, in here. No, you not. In a public building. No, you cannot. That I help pay for. You cannot come in here video. You gotta pick the video down. That's not true, ma'am. Okay. I have the law right here. Okay, no video. That's against That's the law. It's not against the law. I have the you law right video. here. Think over here. I, that has no law or statute attached. The Constitution okay. trumps all policies, ma'am. Hey, dumbass, did you ever think about the Tenth Amendment? Because the Tenth Amendment grants the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution. And that filters down to even the smallest of municipalities throughout the country. So get that through your thick little dim-witted pile of crap skull. All right. Um, so you need to leave. And if you don't, you're going to place an arrest. Okay. Okay, just so we're clear, mm -hmm. you are asking me to leave yes. the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation. Okay, I'm, can you let me talk? This officer is asking me to leave the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation under threat of arrest, which is a violation of 18 U.S.C. 24, Section 242, deprivation of rights under color of law. Then, <laughs> what other laws are you breaking, right? Section 1988 of Title 42 of the United States Code provides for reimbursements of attorney fees when I sue you. Any officer or public official who, de to, who deprives another of their so First please Amendment please rights please is please personally please and please departmentally please. subject and sued to, for civil oh, damages. Okay. I'm going to sue you. Do you understand that? So we'll put you back in there, obviously. You're going to go back in there, right? Because that's what you just said? What? 
You said you were about to go back in there? I was going to, but if you're yeah. making me leave under threat of arrest you can't go back in and you're going to violate my rights on camera, that's fine. That's all I need, I guess. You're going to leave? I'll leave, but... I mean, you're still violating my rights and breaking the law, sir. Are you law enforcement? And why do you keep asking me if I drive here? Why do you want my car? Okay, so I took an I'm Uber here. You, you, you keep talking. Okay, so right now your conduct's being disorderly. So that's actually your arrest. Disorderly me. because I'm trying to have a conversation Correct. with you. I'm trying to tell you to leave. You need to leave. Okay, under threat of arrest. It's a violation of crime. And right? what? Uh, okay, you guys, Pennsylvania State Police. How? Where do I go to like file complaints against you guys? Like where? Supervisor, I agree there right now. Oh yeah, could you please call supervisor? Will you leave? I'd appreciate that. Could you please call supervisor? Will you, answer, will you leave? Yes or no? Can you call a supervisor at least, please? Will you give the phone to him? Why what? Will you give the phone to him, please? Why? Because I will leave under threat of arrest, sir. Well, now you're under arrest, George. Sort of conduct, please. Sir, I've had enough of this. Well now, honey boo boo, that's all on you. You wanted to play stupid games, so you won a stupid prize, and you effed around and found out. Now, enjoy the ride to the police department. And good luck trying with that lawsuit, because color of law doesn't exactly work in this scenario, because, well, you weren't violated based on your race and color, and I'm sure a lawyer could could have told you that. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.